of this is a story that winds and twists, heightens and builds, and pits the savant against the showman, right back where they started, opposite each other, inside the square circle, as their rivalry loop closes on April 20th. Me and Devin, we had a long history in the amateurs. We've been fighting since we were seven, eight years old. This time it's for the WBC championship title bout. Everything's on the line for this one, for sure. Consider this bout different in every conceivable way. Different for the familiarity in play. The six previous meetings, all in the amateurs, this duel currently split at three wins apiece. Ryan, he was my biggest rival in the amateurs. It was only a matter of time. Different also in styles, featuring Devin the Dream Haney, the most technically proficient boxer on earth, and Ryan Garcia, king of quickness. That savage left hook forever aimed at suspect chins. He can take an ass with him, but can he take an ass with eight ounce gloves? We'll see if he can weather the storm. It's boxing's game seven. Stakes higher, more visceral, dizzying. That's what all this is about. Number seven, the, the one that matters, the one that's for, for all the marbles. That's the story of two paths that shaped the other, two rivals and what they charted since diverting. We were on a collision course since birth, it felt like. Despite the contrast, both men want the same thing. Who win this fisticuffs game seven and take control of one of boxing's most stacked divisions. I don't care about Ryan, I care about greatness. Ryan is just in my way. He's the guy that I gotta step on. Which leads to one final difference. In the case of the savant versus the showman, both might want the same thing, but doing it is another thing entirely. Two hours of sleep is crazy. You pay vitamin C too? I just put on glutathione right now. I'm gonna put vitamin right. C and everything in here. It's weird. You start tasting it in your mouth. I love that. And you know me, I, I mean, when you're on low lack of sleep, you wanna fill your body with vitamins. And just everything you need. As long as we get the work done, I do whatever. If I wanna go shopping all day, I'm gonna go shopping all day. If I wanna go to the studio, till three o'clock in the morning, I'll do it. As long as I can wake up and run, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna play the camera a couple of my songs. What's so funny? She should make more money, huh? What's so funny? She should make more money, huh? What's so funny? You should make more money, huh? What's so funny? We're training all the time, four times a day, and it's just like, it's a lot on your body. Like, it's just like, damn. As long as I'm feeling good, sharp, we do whatever we want, really. It's me. Front. Public. You didn't have no money, huh? You should have saved you something. On the boxer's spectrum between boring and not, Ryan Garcia is the opposite of Dell. His personality? Loud. Funny. Undeterred. Signals the zero you know what's given. Hi, guys. This is Ryan Garcia. I've been the same person since I was young. I was just a funny dude, and I was just trying to have a good time all the time. I like to have fun. What's up, guys? What's up, fly guy? What's up, guys? What's up, good? We're about to fight Devin Haney. You ready for that smoke? Now, the real question is, is he ready for the smoke? Because at the end of the day, you know, he can't do to me. I'm scared for him. You know, I've just been praying he's going to be OK. That's it. I, I know what I'm about to do. I know what I'm about to do. Let's get it. It's going to be a good one when Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia face off April 20th. He wants to land the hook. That's all he has. It will be funny if I knock you out with the right hand. That'd be hilarious. What if I knock? He only has the left hook and then bow right hand right in his face. I'm going to come up with something better in a second. <laughs> all right, you know how we get down. If familiarity breeds contempt for these two, Proximity brings tension. On April 20th, live on the Zone Worldwide, a score will be settled. I'm not worried about none of you guys. I'm not. Go, oh, please, somebody touch me. Nobody listens to you when you just say it quiet. You gotta be crazy. 
You have to be as loud as you can. What if I knocked out your security? I'd be crazy. I might do it. I might run and do it. That's light work. Shut up. Hey, can you teach him how to dress? You cannot dress. Maybe Devin Haney is more technician than Tyson, but there's plenty of showmen in him too. Consider him boxing's Bugs Bunny. I got a lot of carrots. I got a lot of carrots. All GIA certified. What else can I buy? We got the skeleton rose gold APs. I got enough jewelry, I could be a jeweler. This shit too fly for Ryan. Ryan don't know how to put it off. He don't know what to do with it. <laughs> It's like my first big boy watch that I bought. And I didn't really like know about jewelry at that time, but I just like to watch. So this will forever be my baby. If it wasn't for boxing, I wouldn't have none of this. I wouldn't be here. Boxing is my true love, something I truly love to do. And I would I would have did it for free, to be honest. I, I did it for free for a long time, so it don't feel like a job to me. It's all paying off. You know, some guys they work their whole life and it never works out for them. But luckily God put me in this position and uh it worked out. It ain't already cold in New York City. We done brought the ice out. Yes, sir. You know, now it's snowing. And we are in the heart of the city that never sleeps, in Times Square at the Palladium, as they kick off their press tour live on DAZN. Who do you think is going to win the press conference? I say it's a 50-50. King Ryan Garcia. The Dream, Devin Haney. This one does count. This fight is to see who the best fighter at 140 is. When I first came into the game, I just wanted to make a bunch of money and then I did that. But now I want to go for the legacy. I want to go for the bouts. Devin's in the way, you know, I'm on my vengeance arc. I'm ready to get back in blood and everything. So I'm coming straight for his neck. I promise you that. I promise you, I'm coming straight for you. We've seen him take a knee before and quit. And uh, on April 20th, it won't be no different. I'm capturing the bounty, and uh, we, we we come home with the victory. How about I beat them? Bounty, I'm gonna knock you this door. Stop, boy. Remember that. That was one of the best press conferences I've seen in a while. Yes, there is. <laughs> Pressing number one done. These two superstars leave New York in a frenzy. Another sign of the spectacle to expect on April 20th. Truth be told, who won the press conference will soon not matter. After one more in Los Angeles, the war of words will fade into the background as a fight that does matter draws tantalizingly near. Please breathe normal. There will be no smoking while oxygen is in use. Putting their promotional pens down, it's clear that the answer questions signed autographs bit can be draining. I feel so many people's pain and, and their energy and what they're going through. I think when they're around me, it hits me and you feel emotional out of nowhere. So much energy on you. I try to be the best example for people. I'm not perfect, far from it. But at least for one time and moment, I just hope they get a little bit of happiness from when they see me. Make sure you don't put a color down, buddy. It's only yellow. <laughs> I won. What are you doing? <laughs> yellow is, obviously it's not gonna be yellow. With the press tour almost over, the circles tighten because the critical part is what's ahead. He's learned that family is key because without family, you have no one. And I just want him to stay grounded and stay focused. He's never gonna be able to take shots from Ryan. My dad has been a part of this journey since I was a kid. He knows me better than I think any coach I could get. And then me telling him, hey, dad, like I feel this way. He's like, oh, remember this? And I'm like, oh yeah, you're right. So I definitely do need my dad in my corner. For Devin, he too has a tight knit circle as Team Haney touches down, seeking some late night work. Haney time! Haney on the clock! The face of boxing, the face of the sport. The sport will grow because of Devin Haney. 
The only familiarity that really matters here is that found in each boxer's corner. Nobody works hard as you, champ. For the dream, that's the same face he has turned to since day one. Yeah, let's see how you do under pressure. Oh. And there, then you just rip back to this. <laughs> yeah, you go. Even then, Devin is the only Haney that steps inside that ring. Only 25 years old, he's already a boxer among the most skilled of his generation, who after conquering boxing's lightweight division, immediately moved up and snagged the WBC Junior Welterweight crown. Do two, where he can say, what's that where his jab is? Boom, you know what I'm saying? Devin has the talent for it. He has the drive and he has the work ethic. What's about me just having his back? Ain't no errors, baby, it's a new era. This is only the beginning. I got a long career ahead of me. I got years and years to dominate the sport. They just keep lining them up, and I'm gonna just keep knocking them down. Ready for war, war the up the up I respect everybody that gets in the ring. He's at the highest level for a reason, but it's for me to go in there and show him that you're not on my level. You're not Devin Haney good. That's for me to prove, and that's what I will do. A moment can live out forever. Devin the Dream Haney, the best fighter in the world. Born on Devin the Dream Haney. It's lit, and everybody's in it. Well, I feel sorry for you, Mr. Garcia. We get to see him tomorrow. I, mean, I know you're gonna bring some antics to this one. I heard he's bringing a horse or something like that. So, let him do it. Um, I'm, I'm what they call a senior lead officer, which means anything that happens on Hollywood Boulevard, good or bad, falls on me, right? So I heard some grumblings about some of the things you have planned today. Why don't you just tell me what, what the game plan is? Um, obviously, the horse thing is the biggest concern. I said, if it gets very hectic, I'll stop. I'll get off the horse and start walking. The press conference. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna be a movie. Something only people could imagine. But we're bringing it to reality. Ryan sent a tweet that said, you do not want to miss L.A. I don't know what he has yeah, up maybe his he's sleeve. getting his entrance together. Ryan, he's focused on boxing and entertainment. Like, this is boxing, but it's a business. It's a real fight, but it's still business. Let's do something fun, man. So Ryan Garcia is outside of the Avalon Theater. Outside is he horse. on a horse? That's an entrance. That better be That's a showbiz entrance. horse. Well, I'm preparing for Ryan Garcia, the boxer, and not Ryan Garcia, the activist, TikToker, influencer. We really take Ryan Garcia serious. This guy and his antics and on April 20th is going to be the death of Ryan Garcia in the way you know it. April 20th, you're going to see a good knockout, and then you're going to wish you didn't say those words. He just, he's a kid. He's a kid, dude, that's babied by his dad. That's all he is. You finally got somebody raising your hand saying, I'm real. Ryan is showing that he's a kid. I mean, look at, look at his antics, look at what he's doing. He's all over the place with it. I'm a true professional. I try to be professional in, 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 in everything I do. The world is tuning in. So look, look how much media here. Look how many people are here to, to watch us. They think I'm playing around. I'm not. I'm not playing with him. He's gonna, he's gonna find out in the rain. The world is gonna see how great I am, how much better I am, and how the amateurs, things change. It's who became the better pro, and uh, that's what all this is about. Let's now face the fighters. As Devin the Dream Haney and King Ryan Garcia ready for a boxing rarity, their previous clashes and deepening animosity mean little beyond how they might inform the present. What matters now is what always matters most, because it's game seven. And this one counts. He thinks it's a boxing match. This is not a boxing match to me. This is a fight. I can't lose. At the end of the day, Ryan Garcia is just another opponent to me. I'm in competition with greatness. This is bigger than Ryan Garcia. Ryan is just in my way. On episode two of 40 Days. People have a misconception on how I am mentally. All my moves are calculated. 
started competing around 10 years old. The gym, that's his one place he can be the Devin that I call Superman. 